There you go. Hello, loonies. I'm here today with a dear friend of mine, Doris, who is a Guatemalan shaman and healer. She's amazing. She is a Mayan who's also been very Americanized. She's been here a long time. Uh, but she was born and raised in Guatemala and has some great insights to share with us today on 2012 and the direction that the world is going in and everything that's happening. So I'm going to have Doris hand me the phone and we're going to turn it over to her. And she's just a deep soul sister of my heart and I love her, so I know you will too. Hi Doris, say hello. Hi Looney. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Doris Vargas and yes, I was... Uh, Born and raised in Guatemala, but I've been in the United States for quite a long time already. And I've been having a lot of questions regarding 2012, and I was uh, fortunate to be in Guatemala in February. I visit all the Mayan villages and talk to amazing um, elders, and they're not freaking out at all. <laughs> they're excited about it. They're excited about the times, and I know that there's been a lot of changes in the world. Uh, but we have to remember, we have to put all our intentions in love. That's all the Creator is required. Mother Earth wants us to pray for water, to be connected with the brothers and sisters in the skies and the brothers and sisters in the mountains to realize we're all one. And our vibration is the most important right now in these times. We have to keep our heart centered in love. In love what does it mean being centered in love? It means everyday life. What can you do for uh, your neighbor? What can you do for someone that crossed your path? Um, wake up with the intention, who you're going to love today? Who you're going to do a favor to? Um, that's what means helping each other in, this, in these times. And that's going to help Mother Earth, and that's going to help everyone. Um, I know we all turn on the news and I, I look at the weather sometimes <laughs> to see what can be changed. Um, but, you know, the news can, can create some fear in, in most of us. But that's our best job is to hold the vibration higher, not to fall into fear. Um, and that's a big part of our job right now. You know, get together. If you have a friend or two, get together and pray for... Mother Earth, pray for whoever is going through a transition in certain parts of the world. As um, the Earth, we're all vibrating differently. And um, if you open your eyes and open your ears, you will see also that um, everybody's vibrating higher. You can see people uh, talking about being better every day, about reading a book that open their, their eyes and get you uh, thinking clear. So we are all of this, um, you know, ship, Mother Earth, <laughs> and uh, we all ought to love her and protect her. And that means from every single living stone that you come across to uh, every single um, tree that you, you walk by. And be thankful. Be thankful for what we have. Be thankful for the air. Get it inside of you. Let it feed your soul. Let it feed your body. Be grateful for the water we have. Pray for it. You have the ability within you to make it clear, to make it count. Um, and that's uh, what I have now. So please don't fear. 2012 is it's coming from love. It's changes, yes, but they're all for good. As a humanity, we're going to a higher levels. And that's what I got from the elders. <laughs> Thank you so much, Doris. I have a question my, uh, for you, if sure. you don't mind. Could you talk about the physical effects that the ascension process or raising our vibra vibrations are having on a lot of us who are either light workers or healers or just anybody in the mainstream, just humanity at large, and, and what kind of physical tools you've reached for and that you use to help you keep your um, energies flowing and pure and clean and high and all that good stuff? Well, um, we all going to have changes in our bodies. And like you said, whether we are in, in light workers or not, we all have um, these changes. And um, of course, first meditation, being connected is the first one. Pray over your water. Um, you will feel, uh, depends on the change of vibration you're having, it's going to be the higher impact. 
I've been talking to other like workers and healers and they're the ones, we're the ones that get in a higher impact, which is that insomnia, you know, three o'clock in the morning you wake up and you don't know why you feel like jumping up and down and, <laughs> and then in the morning you feel nauseous and some, um, you, you, you get uh, irritated. Uh, that's very normal. Be gentle with yourself. Uh, don't think you're doing anything wrong. It's your body is getting ready for a higher vibration. Um, in my case and other other healers that I've been talking to, changing your, the way of eating is is a plus because um, like sugary things, they will they can get you um, off balance. Anything that um, any any chemical that comes to your body, it will you know upset your your system. Plenty of water. And stick to natural foods. And stick to anything that is raw. And stick to anything that gives gives you life when you eat it. Um, mostly, you know, vegetables and fruits. So stick to a lot of water. Um, that's mainly what 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 I've been experiencing. Trust me, comes from <laughs> trial and error, and uh, from the advice from elders too. Uh, you know. Can you say more about? What the elders have to say, uh, obviously you've given some great advice about staying in love and moving out of fear and taking care of our body temples, but could you give just a few final, we have about three or four minutes, so I would love to, maybe if you even could connect to the elder energy and bring through whatever messages you feel guided to, because I know a lot of people are really excited to hear um, from a real Mayan descent <laughs> person, um, you know, person of Mayan descent who, you know, because there's a lot of you know, misconceptions flying around and there is a lot of fear and there's a lot of concern. So anything you want to address about the star sisters or brothers or about anything, just your, your final words in these last three or four minutes. Okay, my final words. I asked the same questions to the elders when I was in Guatemala and they said, just keep going with your daily lives. Don't get it off um, balance. Wake up every morning thinking about love and being grateful for what you have. Changes are coming. They didn't say exactly where and how, but never to be in fear. Never to be in fear. Uh, the contrary. Uh, we're, we are all born in this time because we knew before coming to Earth that these times were coming, and we're ready for it. And Mother Earth needs it. Humanity needs it to go to a higher level. Uh, so please, uh, loonies, dear loonies, wake up every morning with lots of love and light and thinking positive. Don't let fear sink in your heart. When you trust that you are in the God's, God's hands and the Creator hands, everything is good. Everything comes from love. Um, so that's what I have. That's exactly the words. It's like, don't worry about it. <laughs> and one last thing. I know you have a very special child <clears throat> who is um, what we would be calling, I guess, the crystal rainbow children vibration. And she's going to be someone I'm interviewing next. Um, but we have about two minutes. And would you talk about your, your connection with Nicole a little bit? Oh, Nicole, she's my, my baby. <laughs> and could you maybe give some advice to parents of these special children who might be going through some, some transitions as well? Oh, believe in them. They're, they're, chall they're challenging because they will know more than you. And just believe in them. Trust them. Uh, don't doubt that what they're seeing or hearing or doing. Um, it, you don't doubt on them because they need that reassurance. And be on top of what, you know, what they wish for because they are great manifestors and everything comes true for them. And there is so many of them uh, right now. And they all get in together and they talk. And it's just amazing how they have the ability to love without judging. Um, and they, they don't see that in the surface. Uh, they can see deep inside your soul, which is amazing. Uh, I tell her all the time that I want to be like an old PC to her, and she understands why. <laughs> <laughs> She's digital, you're analog. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, thank you, Doris, for so, these beautiful words from the heart honor. and from spirit. I kiss you Blessings and I love you. Of you. Thank you and just be well, blessings. Amen. Yep. <laughs>